I take it back about her face. Look at her face. Hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So we're going to take a look at Alexandra Rodriguez's latest upload. In this one, she's still on the quest to get those ill-fitting barrel jeans. As a matter of fact, nobody looks good in barrel jeans, but it's a trend. Therefore, our girl is going to go chase it. Um, also, she's going to have her friend there, which is nice. Um, she also starts off, you'll see, um, she starts right out the gate with an advertisement, which we're going to fast forward through. So without further ado, let's press play because what else do we have to do on this fine Friday morning? Work, studying, housework. Okay, no, let's press play. Hey you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I've got Anderson here with me and you will definitely be hearing him grunt. <laughs> yeah, that's the pretty much only thing we like to hear in your videos is that baby. Mm. <laughs> Newborns do be grunting. But before we go ahead and get into this vlog, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this vlog, Coop. Yeah, no. So she's going to go on to plug a fake Rakuten. So you guys know I always talk about Rakuten. I'm not sponsored, but if you do click my link and make a purchase, I get 30 and you get $30. So it's well worth your while. But um, yeah, I've never heard of this site. Um, I'm a big Rakuten fan, as you guys know. Um, I use Honey. I use uh, Capital One Shopping. I just, whoever gets the best, like they all compete in my heart. So let's let's move past this. By the way, this is the way she dresses for a read. Okay. Hey. It was like a minute and a half. God bless America. Hey you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. It is 10.30. I'm getting AM or kind PM. of a slow start this morning. <laughs> Anderson is back to sleep. So we went back to sleep and now it's 10.30 and he's on his first nap of the day. So I am about to make some breakfast. So I thought I would go ahead and vlog it. I have some leftover turkey sausage. So yes. I'm going to make a little breakfast burrito. It I feels like that was four years ago that you made that pizza. <laughs> Like, never Probably had a wasn't. breakfast burrito, but like, how good does that sound? Not really. I have one slice left of pepper jack cheese. It's going to be so good. See, so yeah, I'm just going to do the egg. So you guys know how I feel about breakfast. For me personally, if I start eating first thing in the morning, I'm going to be eating the entire day, okay? So I would just, my breakfast that I log is coffee. So I literally, I've been doing real well for the past week, logging everything I eat. Um, as I've mentioned before in people in my comments, uh, FODMAP, F-O-D-M-A-P. I don't know if it's FOD or FODMAP because I have really bad stomach symptoms that unfortunately it's it's been slow, but we'll talk about that another time. But um, yeah, so I I don't eat breakfast. I don't need any help gaining weight. Thank you very much. And wow, I just had the most brain farty fart ever. Egg, turkey sausage, <sighs> and some Pippa Jack. On the agenda today, we have just stuff to get done at home. There is so much laundry. Um, I really want to go through and organize my makeup and do some purging. I had, I had showed you guys That's good. that uh, Makeup Forever powder. And someone recommended doing like a declutter of makeup and like purging old makeup and maybe we can try some other powder. The makeup forever, I guess, is not forever. See, here's the thing. If you get only products you'll use, you don't have to go through this. Just saying. Um, and I know sometimes products are fails. Well, if a product is a fail, pitch it. Okay, it just is what it is or... I want to say Sephora might take returns. I don't know. I've never done it before. I'm usually pretty sure when I buy something that I'll like it. And if I don't like it, chances are I will still use it. 
powder foundations because honestly for like the quick makeup days um especially as it's getting cooler because like i haven't really been wearing foundation on warmer days and today's like in the 70s again <laughs> Where are you, fall? Um, so, like, Where I haven't didn't put anything fall? on oh. my skin today. Uh, but for quick makeup days going into the cooler seasons when I will be wearing makeup, the powder foundation is the key. There's a video, if you didn't watch it yet, I think it has quick makeup hack in the title. And I used a powder foundation. It's so quick. It is so good. Lasts all day. Looks amazing. So... I'm gonna do some research and see what other like powder foundations are popular. Maybe I so right now I thought I'd share this. Um, I have the Pacifica brand uh, CC. It's really nice. They sell it in Whole Foods. It's not that expensive. It might be like fourteen, fifteen dollars. I don't remember. The only problem with that this the uh, Pacifica is it's like the dispenser doesn't work very well. So eventually you have to open it open the thing and pound it out to your hands. But I like the coverage and I like that it sticks and I like that it has um, sunscreen and it's vegan, I guess. So that's good. I can try a drugstore one because we love an affordable option. So we're just gonna do some help. So <laughs> to me, I look at drugstore makeup prices and I don't really see that as affordable. You know, like when I was a kid, I used to use a lot of wet and wilds and that was like, you know, 99 cents for eyeshadow. Uh-uh, that stuff's jumped up pretty significantly where I would just sooner go to Sephora, spend an extra $20 and have a product that's just that much better. But like I said, I like the Pacifica. It's not really that, that expensive, but you can't just walk into a drugstore and say, oh, everything's so affordable because it's not stuff and potentially potentially go to Trader Joe's you guys know I love to try the fall snacks seasonal snacks from Trader Joe's is like a rite of passage you got to do no you don't nobody needs snacks from Trader Joe's okay unless you're having like a party you're hosting a bunch of kids you know people you want to keep happy and fed other than that stay the fuck out of that store trust me do it every year. All right, anyway, clearly I'm hungry, so let's make breakfast. Okay, now, <laughs> it annoys me how she doesn't put anything on her pan, but that's okay. Uh, I, get, I don't know. I have nonstick. I just have to use something. And a little butter is actually not bad for you. So, I am not a fan of pepper jack. That looks horrific. She can't even... <laughs> she was better off <laughs> using... Uh, whatever. Who cares? Yay. Yay, Alex made breakfast. Okay, you guys. I am in my office. Ugh. And I'm about to go through all these drawers. This is my little vanity over here. with my. How many bedrooms do they have? My God. My old desk. If Because... Did they get rid? No, they didn't get rid of the guest bedroom. So they have their master bedroom, Anderson's room, her office, his office, and I guess four? Is that four? Mama Goop can't count. One, two, three, four, five. They have five bedrooms. Okay, good. If you want a good vanity light mirror, this one is so good. It has warm right there, cool, and then I do medium as a plug. I've been using it for a while now, and I still really like it. Is it linked in the description? It's a really good size. It looks very nice. So I'll put a link to that if you need mm -hmm. a good vanity mirror. But let's go ahead I don't, and dive in. Thanks. I ended up placing a Target pickup order for two different drugstore powder foundations, one from Maybelline and one from L'Oreal. Maybe she's born with it. So I want to try those. Maybe it's Maybelline. Out and see. Because um, realistically, we need one that's not expired. But there's hardly any left in here. And I, it's fine. My skin's fine. Honestly. Your skin's doing pretty well. I think uh, we're all out here using expired makeup. Or maybe I'm just... Oh, so it's right because other people do it. Okay, you and Amberlynn. 
And Amber Lynn's has, has makeup since she was in high school. Speaking for myself. It also, it's getting yeah. like a little bit overly cluttered in here. Um, so I'm going to make a pile. For, As opposed to just a little bit cluttered. Or uh, stuff to throw away. Obviously, we're going to keep what we're going to keep in here. And then I'm going to make a little pile for my mom for her to go through because she's pretty much the only person I would give used makeup to that would be comfortable with that. So let's get started. So up first here, we've got uh, the foundation drawer. We've got foundations and powders, primers, liquid blushes, blush. These are a bunch of other like liquid products. We've got my new favorites that are old. These makeup forever. Oh my gosh, these are the ones. Okay, you're welcome. We're back. Uh, yeah, we weren't sitting through that. You're welcome. <laughs> my Target pickup is actually already ready. It was ready really fast. It was just <laughs> two powder foundations. Um, uh, but Anderson is sleeping, and I don't know if I want to risk waking him up by transporting him to his car seat. So, off. don't know about that. <laughs> no, <laughs> we'll see. don't wake. Um, don't wake him up. Now is a good time to go run to Target. Yes. But I just threw in a load of laundry, and she's so domestic. We're just we're just hanging out now. So as soon as I feel comfy and ready, we will go get the Target pickup. And then I was also deciding about the Trader Joe's, and I realized it's Saturday right now. What day is it, guys? Let's see. Do I have to work? Do I not have to work? Do I have to do my regular day job, my nine to five? Mm. Yeah, it must be Friday. <laughs> Am I really trying to choose violence and go to Trader Joe's? No, fuck that. On I wouldn't go there on a Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. Fuck that. Saturday, that is like the literal... The parking lot. The parking lot's like a demolition derby. No, thank you. Worst decision I could possibly make. But you never know. I might I might be feeling risky later. All right, I am home and I risky secured or risky? the goods. I got the Maybelline Superstay, L'Oreal True Match... So, I can't wait to give these a try. Hopefully the colors are good, because I did order online, but... Yeah, I was going to say, that's that's dangerous. I mean, I guess she could return it. It's Target, but, um, yeah. Mm -mm. Wonder if she used her Target card. 5% back, and I get nothing for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, I'm checking in right now. It has been one of those days where oh, i didn't get anderson? anything done the rest of today i have been chilling with anderson it's a saturday well um, took a walk with okay honestly guys that's how you're supposed to be with the newborn <laughs> you know especially the first couple months it isn't about getting shit done it's about bonding with your baby you idiot the dog and the baby Which, and you still can't convince me that she's bond with that baby i mean and again haha -ha, happens Women, it's like this thing that nobody wants to talk about, but it's co it's common, it's normal. It'll get there, but um, don't go fucking lying to us because you could see it. It's fine. Talk about it. Let it be less of a st stigma. And that's it. <laughs> so I think we'll try those foundations tomorrow. Um, Anderson's wearing one of his new onesies, and he looks so cute. The little milky oh, cookies. Oh, like, are you kidding me? Cookie diddle baby. Oh, actually, maybe it's the way he's sitting. That looks like it's going to be a little short soon. Is that me? Maybe? It's so cute. I am diving into the new Love is Blind. It just came out. I'm so Who excited. Cares? Um, and it's like, ugh, it's so fun to start a new season because I love going through the process where they're like in the pods. You know, the only thing that I am thinking of considering to watch is that Menendez Brothers documentary. So I, I, I definitely don't think Papa would want to watch it because of the subject matter is really sensitive. And for that reason, I don't know that I want to sit through it either. Let me know if you guys have watched it because I love me a documentary. And um, if it's easy enough to sit through or if it's like, you know what I mean, just the subject matter is just unspeakable. So I don't know. Let me know. And then it like transitions into the honeymoon, then the real life. I like the show. Like I'm trying to say I like the show because it has different like phases, which is really fun. So um, I'm super excited. Super excited. It's also 630 and it's dark. 
I am sad about it. Well, wait till the time changes. And yes, I I hear you because, um, you know, because I've been working so much, I didn't start making dinner until like almost seven. And I was grilling on the grill and I'm like, ooh, I need to get lights out here because it was getting dark. And it's hard to, um, it's hard to see the food and if it's cooked when it's dark. I would just be happy if it would get dark always at like 7, 7.30. I'm fine with that. Like all, I wish it could just always be the same time of it getting dark because it's such a mental game for me. I don't know why it just like, I'm trying to just embrace it and like, oh, be cozy with my baby. But <laughs> I don't know. It's hard for me. Let me know if you guys are the same way. Uh, but you just went to go pick us up some dinner because um, it's also one of those nights where neither of us is cooking. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Are you see guys now if she had a whole bunch of meals prepared in advance or if her family loved her and brought meals. She wouldn't have to do that. <laughs> She'd have something easy and cheap to thaw out. Probably healthier. Definitely less expensive. Oh my gosh, I was looking through Twitter today. And um, it was stumbled upon. Somebody reposted a screenshot of a man threatening to divorce his wife. Oh, it was in one of the um, Girl World tweets. Like, is this what Salah is doing? So this woman who's unemployed spent $1,700 in one month on delivery apps. $1,700. And forget working, not working. I don't care. I could be Elon Musk himself. $1,700 on food? That's probably bad for you? I mean, that's insanity. Guys, good morning. I'm so excited. Lily is on her way here now. Finally. Um, you know how I had mentioned in the last vlog or a couple of vlogs ago, her trip got like a little bit rescheduled because something that happened. So it's going to be more of a shorter trip where she's not able to spend a few days, but we have today. So we are going. She's coming all this way for one day Ugh. to just chill, chat, catch up. So it's not like we'll be able to do any like fun Aww. fall activities or anything we're just gonna like take the time to really chat yeah and catch up and just like be together yeah please don't film it for her to see anderson um so i won't really get like and then why didn't you go visit her i mean uh, okay That's much funny. content with her but of course you guys can say hi i actually popped the cookies in the oven that Must i got the gluten-free pumpkin cookies so you know don't make them yourself I can have those out for her to nibble on. I made a mean gluten-free FODMAP approved pumpkin loaf. By the way, you're only allowed to have a day uh, on FODMAP. Like, I think it's like a half a cup of pumpkin. So, uh, yeah, it was really good. And um, the kids and Papa ate a lot of it, too. So, d obviously, they didn't catch on that it was gluten-free. And while she's here, and yeah. I'm super excited to just oh, sit and chat for hours. We're going to order lunch, and I'm just glad it's, like, a beautiful day so we can, like, enjoy um, sitting outside and getting some fresh air because, honestly, whenever I can get outside and get fresh air, I'm going to do it because soon it will be winter. Ooh, I take it back about her face. Look at her face. You know, and that always scares me when you have that sort of butterfly look to you. Because that could be a sign of lupus, too. But just, I don't think that she, it'd be much brighter, but still. All right, you guys, guess what time it is. I don't know. Is it adventure time? We are trying two. Count them, two. Drugstore powder foundations. And I'm so excited. Okay, so. Not I, as excited as I am. I don't remember if I've ever tried these. <laughs> Because that's my life and my memory is horrible. Especially since giving birth. So, we've got the Maybelline Super Stay and then... Wait a minute. I thought you said before the baby was born was worse. Pick a side. The L'Oreal True Match. <sighs> and we're going to give them a whirl. You guys already know how much I absolutely adore 
the matte velvet skin from makeup forever so i am going to do half on one side and half on the other i'm going to be filming and how much more is makeup forever so huh i'm going to look that up in a minute another video as well later today so i'm going to do like my full makeup routine so how i apply the makeup forever one is i just put it on top of my moisturizer i didn't bother with like primer or anything all right so first and foremost here are the shades they both look super different so <laughs> we'll see how that goes i am hopeful though because both of these actually had really good reviews and they both do come with a mirror and a little who uses you know, that powder puff situation who Same uses on that? this one but this one is not a powder one it's more of a sponge consistency which i personally like to use those over like the soft ones here but how i applied the makeup for everyone was just with a brush this is the jessup 101 brush my favorite amazon makeup brushes so affordable okay, such good quality i'll put a link to them all right so let's just dive right in here <laughs> This is how I normally... Oh, this one does not have as much coverage. My Makeup Forever has so much coverage. Oh my gosh. This is not covering very much. Which, which like one is that? I have to that? really, really uh, take a lot of product on here. All right, so far I am not super impressed. You can still see all of my hyperpigmentation coming through. And I'm looking for like a powder foundation, right? And this does say super blendable powder. At this point though, I would really only use this to set a liquid foundation because the coverage is just not there. I'm trying to kind of layer more and see if I can like build up the coverage, but you have to like use a lot of product and I don't love that. All right, so I put so much of that on. <laughs> I am not super impressed with that one. Um, I think it'd be fine to like set a liquid like I said it like sits nicely on the skin it's not like dry patching or anything like that but it doesn't have much coverage so there's that one let's hope for a bit more coverage from Miss Maybelline here so okay I I had to stop and look it up so the the Maybelline is $10.99 at Target and the L'Oreal was $13.99 at Target and the Makeup Forever at Sephora was $44. But seriously, guys, if it works better with your skin, you know, spend the money. Just how I see it. Let's just, oh, immediately putting this one on. There was an immediate bit more coverage. This one has a lot more kickback of product. But Fallout. then again, so does my Makeup Forever one has a lot of kickback fallout which is fine in my opinion because then i just kind of <laughs> scoop it up immediately this one has so much more coverage so it, much this more is not a good I don't color know if you for can her tell. either yes this one has more coverage here they're also and different yes colors. it looks powdery that's why we use some hydrating spray at the end it's funny how somehow the colors still both worked out <laughs> somehow okay i really like the maybelline one like and it's cheaper. honestly very comparable and to if you have forever in terms Rakuten, of like Rakuten you'll get one percent back woohoo like coverage yeah you can see the difference in coverage I think wow and I had to use so much less over here all right that is our winner I'm gonna take winner winner chicken dinner and cover up the L'Oreal side definitely a product I will reach for again and then I'm just gonna take a little bit on my triangle puff to get like up under the eye I do feel like it looks good but I don't know part of me thinks the makeup forever just looks better like I do think this still looks pretty good like pretty good especially for you know a ten dollar price point but the Makeup Forever one just has a little bit more coverage. And for some reason, this feels more dry on my skin than the Makeup Forever one. Somehow that one doesn't feel so dry. Overall, like, it still did a pretty good job. But a lot, I can still see a little bit of my redness and hyperpigmentation, whereas I don't normally have that issue with the other powder. So I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10, whereas the Makeup Forever is like a 9.5 out of 10. But, yeah, spend the money. like I said, for the price pretty darn good if you want a powder foundation from the drugstore that's quick and easy if you don't have hyperpigmentation 
You don't have as much to cover. Well, you know, the I real could... the real test for me is it does it rub off on your phone when you're making a call. If it doesn't, then winner winner chicken dinner. Conceal first, but this is like a quick makeup hack that I like to just bing bang boom quick and easy oh one thing i'll say is too and there's nothing quick and easy about your makeup routine alex so stop this is six grams this is 11 grams let me look up the price okay so damn this it is she was gonna do it for me 44 dollars. yes whereas this was that. like 10 or 11 10 but you get double so it's about it's about 50 percent more in cost with the ratio to product. Um, I think I would still think this is a little more worth it. Um, but like I said, if you have a little bit less to cover, this is still. You know what's really saving you money? Buy one product, find your product, just buy it. Although I will say what I hate is these companies love to discontinue colors. You know, just as you're getting used to something, you know, you go buy it again and again and again. They mostly do this with lipstick. Gone. Why? Very good. Would I bother with this again? Absolutely not. But I'm going to keep it and use it for setting. No, you're yeah, not. My face right now feels you're end a up, little bit like tight. The next makeup declutter, you're going to pitch it. You should just pitch it now. Call it a day. Dry. Or better yet, return it. Which I don't get with the makeup forever. So I think... I'm really looking forward to putting on my uh, setting powder at the end of this. Yeah, I don't feel like the coverage is as good. It's a bit of a bummer. Maybe I'll buy a new one of the Makeup Forevers. Yeah, the coverage, like even as I'm putting on my bronzer, it's like wiping off the coverage and my my marks are coming through. Yeah, I'm not impressed. I'm actually gonna take some of the Makeup Forever now and just like conceal these spots. Like look at like the coverage on this one is like nuts. Oh, it's like just some full coverage magic. Let me know if you guys have a full coverage powder from the drugstore that you love because I would love to find one comparable to this. So if you have one that you want me to try, let me know and I will try it. Okay. Do you I guys just... remember the whole hype with Bare Minerals <laughs> and you could use that powder and it was like magic? Yeah, it didn't work for me either. Finished my makeup. See how the powder looks once you've like done the other products and just set it down with some spray. No, actually it looks, looks unbalanced. Like such a good base and so quick. I'm going to recurl my front pieces here. And I will check back in with you guys later. Look who's here. Yay. The coolest aunt in the world. Are you happy your aunt's here? Oh, we had to finagle our bony. seats because the shade is like, it's hot, it's in, the so hot in the sun. It's so hot in the sun. <gasps> Bruni, Hi, you Baba. got a friend? You love seeing your aunt. Why do you have your harness on, Bruni? Auntie. Yes, we've got baby right here. Lily brought some flowers. Yes, Lily is the one who made those beautiful flowers for her um, baby shower, right? That was nice. Oh, so beautiful. She's, I yes, think she's Lily a got um, Anderson this blanket, and it's actually um, a muslin swaddle. But it yeah, she had to bring that out for her, which is, I would have done that too. It's huge. We use it every day. It is so freaking nice. Amazon, baby. Many mm -hmm. hours later. Okay, you guys, it is now later. It is almost seven o'clock already. The day flew. Um, had a really good hangout session with Lily today. We just talked for hours and caught up and she'll be back in December for a She didn't even stay the night? longer stay but i was just happy to be able to see her at all happy for her to meet anderson while he's still very young and small and yeah it was a really really Aww. good day and of course she's so sweet i was like you did not have to bring me more gifts like she already has been the best most supportive friend ever during postpartum labor pregnancy she was amazing but she brought more gifts she brought some honest diapers size two i am stocking up on my diapers it is amazing also, um, I didn't realize we had run out of Huggies and I had so many stocked up from like different brands and stuff to try. Um, we tried a new brand today called Rascals. Um, their newborn diapers are really good. They're super, super, super soft. Um, like I really like the way the fabric is. I'm excited to try the Honest too. There's just so many kinds of, of diapers. I'm just glad she didn't try to go reusable because... I don't know. That makes me tired thinking about it. So 
Let me know your favorite brand of diapers. I'm curious. And then she hey, got please. us some more of these um, muslin blankets because mm. she had got us a different one, which I showed you earlier that we love. Love a muslin blanket. Mm -hmm. And then this was so exciting. These burp cloths have geese on them that are like identical to the wall decals in the nursery. Like they look the same. How amazing is that? Um, and then this adorable onesie she said it's organic cotton very beautiful color it love better. it it's organic. and then some little teethers oh hello baba you waking up also i totally forgot that these came in the mail yesterday <laughs> why do i do this to myself the barrel leg jean hunt continues and i told you guys that i was on the hunt for a good pair of barrel leg jeans that would accommodate my plus size body and a lot of you guys, I mean, it's like the overall consensus that they're like ugly. Like people just hate barrel leg jeans. Yeah, because they're, they're not flattering on anybody. Reason why I feel like I would like them. Because on, it's on TikTok. On me. I guess. Because my legs like do the opposite. Like, <laughs> like they don't go out. They go in the way my legs are shaped. And no, there's nothing wrong with my legs. All right. I almost feel like it would counteract the inward. I don't know. Does that make any sense at all? So you guys actually told me to try Anthropology, oh. and by the time I'd seen that, I already ordered this pair from Eloquy because they were having a sale. And if they don't work, I'll return them, of course. But stay tuned for another try from uh, from Anthropology. Anthropology. So <laughs> we will see. Let's try these on because I am dying to find out if they will fit. It's weird because like even being <clears throat> at the weight I was before getting pregnant, like my body is like shaped a little differently. Yes. It's just your body does change a that bit. That is true. Yes. Um, After birth. Okay. But you're only six weeks out, honey. You're not... A lot of women still are wearing maternity clothes. Okay. Okay. They it's... fit. Now, how do they, how do they look? Okay. I don't feel like they're giving barrel. Like no, they, just they look regular. Look like a normal loose jean, or do they look barrel? Is, is does it look barrel? I don't have a full length mirror, so I kind of. Well, okay. Let me let me take a closer look. All right, those those aren't bad. Actually, I don't care barrel, no barrel. I don't care if somebody walks down the street and says oh, barrel. They they're not bad. I wonder if they the stretch. They fit nice. They're very comfortable and yeah. stretchy. They come up really high, like mm -hmm. really high. I don't so like I ultra high. I like mid length because I feel like high makes you look like you have a diaper on. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at this in the footage or upstairs, but I mean, I like a baggy jean. It's more comfortable. I'm over like a tight jean. Mm -hmm. So they feel good. I don't know how they look. So I guess you and I will find out. Why not? I think that, well, they're not barrel enough for her. I, I'm trying to figure out where this trend came from, but actually I'm not really trying to figure it out because I'm not looking. Not together, but they feel good. But I just don't think, I'm not seeing like the barrel, <laughs> the barrel. Anyway, you guys, I am coming on here to end this vlog. We're about to watch the finale of Acapulco. Such a good show. Let me know if you guys watch it, but thank you for hanging out with me. I love you so much. All right, let's get to the real reason why we're here, the comments. And as you can see, I've looked up the makeup. Uh, <laughs> it's me, the stylist who was attacked for giving style tips on your last video. I didn't see that. Remember, I looked through some of the comments. Anyway, the Kenna Mid-Rise Heritage Barrel Jeans by Pilcrow, available in plus size and anthropology, will give you the look you're trying to achieve. I would still advise that you might need to size up, especially if your tummy changed since pregnancy. Please don't take offense to me saying that. What I mean is that they are mid-rise and will sit more comfortably on your shape, on you if your shape has altered postpartum. I do help a lot of, a lot is spelled wrong, that's annoying me, a lot of postpartum moms readjust their wardrobe to their new shape, mostly corporate moms. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for wide leg jeans, they are AW 2024 trend. Go for a palazzo leg and size up. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna... Oh, nobody replied. When did this post? Really? This just posted 10 hours ago. Hmm. Wide-legged pants look nice on you. They give the illusion of balance. Because it's, it's all an illusion. I was hoping they'd be great, but I don't love the jeans. They seem more like a boyfriend or relaxed fit more than a barrel jean. Honestly, I'm also top-heavy with narrow hips and thick thighs, and I've pretty much given up on pants. She just walks around all day without pants. No. I wear skirts and dresses, sometimes leggings or bike shorts, with pelpum, peplum, excuse me, or tunic top, and that's pretty much it. Pants do me no favors. They just emphasize how disproportionate I am. Skirts and dresses, especially skater fit or fit and flare, skater or fit and flare, add more visual balance, and I always feel cute. The jeans are our return. I didn't hate them. Well, this is interesting. I'm stressed out as I got through as I got through Hurricane Milton, so it's a nice distraction. I hope everything's well with you, Janie Burt four five three eight. I hate hurricanes. I hate this time of year. <laughs> no. We use cloth diapers. No, no. I. Mm. Not for Alex. All right, some of you, absolutely. For me, no. And for Alex, a definite no. It could be cool if you ended up trying them out for a video. Maybe not many people would care. I'm just a nerd for cloth diapers. No. No, there's, it's the year 2024, guys. No. <laughs> this is kind of a funny comment, so I'm going to read it. People are so weird about passing along pre-loved makeup for their face. If they had any idea of the amount of germs that are on your hand at any given time compared to what's on the pre-loved makeup, you wouldn't give a second thought to using someone else's makeup. Well, what about when you go to a makeup artist that's, they're not using just makeup they bought for just you. Jeez. As far as expired makeup, if it performs for you, you paid good money for that, for that freaking use it. Yes, I agree. But, and, and I know everything expires. I, I don't condone years and years and years, but let's just face it, ladies. Who changes out their mascara every three months? Or every six months. Uh, not me. So, anyways. All right. What'd you think? Um, yeah. Uh, you're lucky I cut some of that out. I cut a big portion of that out. So, hope you didn't miss anything. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. But anyways, guys. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye.